This is a reaction video to some of the silly drama that's going around in the crypto space. It seems like it follows a certain individual and it seems as if that is going to continue. If you follow on the tweets, it, everything gets very belligerent and potentially not helpful whatsoever. But you've got an individual by the name of George who owns this Cryptos R Us, and he's got a fighting league, and it's for influencers. And he invited Ben Armstrong and some others to go fight, and it's it's a little name, cringe. My name is Ben Armstrong. People used to call me Big Boy, and that made me mad. I used to have the biggest crypto channel in America, and now I don't. And that makes me want to punch somebody. I want to fight because I'm tired of talking words on the internet, and I'm ready to throw these hands. My plan to train consists. <laughs> It almost seems like a joke, unfortunately, uh, but it's not. So people are going to pay money potentially if if he actually fights. And uh, I, I don't know. I I, I don't know <laughs> what to think about that. There's there's some other guys that are going to fight, and one of them is Crypto Keeper. He runs his channel Crypto Wars, and there was a deal between. The three parties, basically, Cryptos R Us, George, and Crypto Keeper, where he's doing a, a trading showdown, where it's a trading show, and George said that he could probably do it better, so he went behind their backs and got a bigger channel involved, the one that Ben Armstrong actually ended up creating, the Discover Crypto, and I think that's the whole premise of why Ben is so angry about everything. But these guys made up first impression i know keeper for me like he, we're still cool right you might and truthfully there is something to be said with originality is just undetected plagiarism and I, that's with everything it doesn't matter what you do somebody's going to come over and do it better right truthfully george by just saying hey I think I can do this better, and I'm going to do this better with some other people. Maybe they found out, but pretty stand up for him to say that. I'm involved in a different community with a different topic or genre of motorcycles, and I know my stuff gets stolen all the time as soon as I have a good idea. That's what happens is innovation gets stolen. It gets rebranded. That's it. Uh, these guys having a big deal for somebody maybe doing it better, eh, that's... That's just business. That's how it happens. And personally, the biggest compliment is when somebody does copy you because it ends up finding its way back to the original owner. I mean, Mr. Beast, he's got the biggest YouTube channel around and he pretty much does steal my stuff all the time because that idea and how it's presented is going to come back to me and it's just going to get a different demographic of people to follow me right it's it's marketing it's it's broading and everyone is all about this decentralization when it comes to crypto but then this intellectual property or idea they start fighting about it and cryptos are us he goes on to just say but i thought we had a mutual respect for each other even though we're not the closest of friends but i've always stayed neutral actually not neutral i've always said positive things about ben has he helped me before and this video, I'm not attacking him. I didn't know I didn't watch his video and I didn't read his tweets, but I'm pretty sure they're nasty because that's how he is. He's gonna come off very nasty, but I'm willing to overlook that, be the bigger man, because I've committed to the IFC and I want this to happen. So hopefully, Ben, if you're watching this, right? It's, it's all just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Like everyone should be adults, be able to move on. And if he does create a better show, great, cool. Competition is breeds innovation it's better for the space better for everyone i think <laughs> it's good for people to steal each other's ideas i want to know what you guys think in the comments below till next time this is johnny crypto